a lot of people seem to have really taken to heart this idea that to learn something, you have to have a degree and you have to have a whole institution in place to teach it to you. And I'm, I'm grateful to my parents that I was not raised to think that. So when I decided I wanted to go to college when I was 16, it felt like something I could do, not because I had any formal education, but just, okay, I need to learn algebra. I will buy a book and I'll learn it. And uh, I didn't do an amazing job. I kind of barely got into the university, but I kept going with that. And I think, yeah, my parents took it too far. I arrived at university really underprepared. And you know, I once raised my hand in a class and asked what the Holocaust was, because I'd never heard of it. And people thought I was being anti-Semitic. I think they thought I was denying it. I wasn't. I'd never heard of it before. So I wouldn't say this is the ideal education. I would not say that. But I do think they, I think they had something there about people feeling ownership over what they learn. Because if you think of education, I think a lot of people talk about education as a way to make money, as a way to get a better job. But the way I experienced it was it's about making a person. It's not about making money. It's about making a person. And I think everyone should have that opportunity to participate in the making of their own mind. And I just think it needs to be more active. And people need to be more involved, I think, in their own education.